G'day guys, this particular video will be on second moments of area, also sometimes known as area moments of inertia. And what we're asked to do here is we're asked to find the area moment of inertia about the x-axis for the rectangle below. So as you can tell, this is a rectangle of height h and base b, and what's really important about this is that our axis, especially the x-axis, is placed at the very bottom of this rectangle, and that'll be quite important, as you'll find out. I should mention a small disclaimer, and that is I'm going to be solving this problem using double integrals. So hopefully you've got a little bit of exposure with them. So first things first, we recall that the area moment of inertia about the x-axis is given as the integral of y squared dA. dA is just a small element of area that makes up your shape. And in this case, I'm going to choose a value of dA equal to dx dy. And by choosing this value of dA, we, we are forced to evaluate the double integral. So if we choose to do this, this will turn into, and let me use different colors, the double integral, I'll choose one integral to look at this, the other integral to look like this, of y squared times dx times by dy. Now hopefully you've had some exposure to double integrals before, but even if you haven't, I think you might still be able to follow along. Let's first view the inner um, integral just here and figure out what the limits of integration are. Well, this little um, element of area needs to slide between here and here first, because we're dealing with dx. So our lower limit will be minus b on 2, and our upper limit will be positive b on 2. Minus b on 2, and positive b on 2. And then our, and then we need to um, find the other limits for y, and that means now we've got this little um, slice just here, and you realize to swoop out the whole area of this, of this entire shape, it'll need to go from 0 to positive h. So 0 to positive h. 0 to positive h, just like that. Okay, now, the way you evaluate the double integral is a little bit challenging um, at first because it seems so unorthodox, but what we do is we analyze the inner um, integral first, treating y as constant because we're only integrating with respect to dx, and then, we um, and then we analyze the other integral. And when you evaluate that, you're going to get, this is going to be equal to the integral of 0 to h, and now let's analyze this integral. Remember, we treat y as a constant when we're dealing with double integrals, so this will be y squared times by x with limits from minus b on 2 to b on 2. And of course, we've still got dy just here. Now, when we analyze that, it's going to be the integral from 0 to h, time, um, and you're going to have y squared times by b on 2 minus minus b on 2 dy. dy. Hopefully, um, I'm not going to go into the process for evaluating double integrals. Hopefully, you'll need to look that up on your own, but I'm just going to power through this um, so that we can get to the answer as fast as possible. Okay, so when you go through this, you're going to get 0 h, and then you're going to get y squared times by b. This will evaluate into b, and then we're integrating with respect to dy now. This is probably a little bit more straightforward to you, so let's do that. We can bring this straight up here, and now we can evaluate this more um, traditional integral, and then we're going to get the integral of, oops, or evaluate the integral, so then we're going to get um, by cubed on 3 with limits from 0 to h, and then when we evaluate that, we're going to get b on 3, b is a constant, 3 is a constant, we can bring it out, times by h cubed minus 0, or if we like, that's going to be b h cubed on 3. This is the moment of inertia, sorry, this is the area moment of inertia about our x-axis for a rectangle of height h, base b, and our x-axis is lying along the base of our rectangle just here. Notice, and you can prove this yourself, if the axis was at its centroid, we would get a different answer because the limits of the integral would be different here. I hope that made sense, guys. Cheers.